Hello and welcome to episode 12 of Bayon Boot or Bust. I'm Boot FM and as always, thanks for coming back. Um, if you've come back for episode 12, you must be enjoying it. Um, I'm still enjoying making it, it's just fun to do. Um, and I'm happy actually. Now, check this. Football Manager Twitter, they've followed me back. Now they've followed quite a few of us, um, quite a lot of us. I think they're reaching out to the community, which is good. If anything comes of it, I'll keep you informed. But yeah. It was a nice little surprise on my Twitter news feed today. If you don't follow me on Twitter, by the way, um, check the link down below. Come and chat with me. It'll be fun. Um, good episode today, hopefully. We've got a massive game. Basically, it's the Derby game. We're playing Dortmund, who are a lot better this year than last year. But last year, we were a bogey team, weren't we? we? Well, we battered them three times. Can we do it again? We're going to find out in a bit. Um, we've got loads to catch up on. I'm going to show you a few things, a few games to get through. So let's get going. Right, here we are with the first game, and I've got to say, I've been a bit annoyed with a few of these results, even decent ones, but we'll get into that with each game. But this was the first one, we played Bochum. Um, nil nil away from home. It was Borefest. Next game, we played Mainz at our place, and we beat him 2 1. Um, Rene Ben scored both goals. Without Rene Ben, we'd have probably drew again. We probably would have got beaten, I'll be honest with you. The guy's an absolute legend. Um, and he, he got us them three points. Next game was the Champions League. We went to Italy to play top seed, remember, Atalanta. And we beat on 1-0. And um, we did okay. We played okay. I played counter-attacking. Um, yeah, one goal did it. It was enough. We were probably lucky. Really, they had some good chances. But, hey, another three points in Group D. Next game was disappointing. Um, away from home against Nuremberg. Nuremberg. Whoever they are. Got beat 2-1. Um, played poop. Abdullahi did really well though. He scored the goal and had a really a standout game to be fair. Oh, yeah, I was just so frustrated with it. I'm starting to get a bit frustrated with this tactic, I'll be honest with you. And the last game was in a DFB Pokal and yeah, we will not be regaining our title. I know I was going to beat him and I beat him, did it, right? That's what I said. But still, I thought we'd beat these. I thought we'd get through this. Um, and it was so annoying. Like proper annoying. And um, one one went it went to extra time, they scored. Luckily I'd brought Ben on. Ben scored an absolute screamer. Pulled us back into it. Went to penalties and we lost on penalties. So my B team, well, they're done there now, aren't they? Them lot have finished. Let's have a look at our Champions League group first, and it's group D. And we are at the top level though with Madrid. I've got a good feeling about this. I think we're gonna get through the group stage, which is pretty sweet, I'm not gonna lie. Um, and I'm not bothered where we go, top or, or second, but I, I think we're going to do it. I really do, especially look, we're both on seven and them two have only got one point. I mean, I don't know the maths, but we, what, we're one win away maybe? Get one win and we through? Good odds on that. Now what's not good is this. Ninth. I mean what, three we've won, we've drawn five, we've lost two. Don't get me wrong, this is probably more realistic. And this is where we spent most of last year until I switched to the arrow. And then we went on that massive winning streak, you know? And then I took it into this season and it's it's just, we're, we're nearly winning games, not winning games and I don't like that. Too many draws, throwing away too many games. Some of the games we've lost, we shouldn't have lost. So I might have to have a think today. Well, I know what I'm gonna do. A bit of happy news, Bukowski, one of my favorite players. Uh, he's Argentinian, I forgot he was Argentinian, I'll be honest with you. Uh, and he's just been capped for him, played his first game for Argentina, so proper chuff for him. Hopefully, he can stay in the team and hopefully it'll make him a better player. Now, I have said that if any of you want to know what's going on in the world, especially because we're in the future, like far into the future, I'm willing to have a look at stuff. Um, and someone asked me in the comments in the last episode if I'd have a quick look at Celtic. So we'll have a little quick look at how they've been doing. And as you can see now behind me, um, this is the history for the Scottish Premiership. And yeah, looks like Celtic had dominated. Rangers have won one title. So they've got one. But yeah, Celtic have absolutely dominated. And a quick look at Celtic's best player. And it's 20 year old Marlon Demel. Demel. And he's German. He would be. He's not the best. Striker. Good finisher though. I mean, he's a decent player, don't get me wrong. So yeah, that's Celtic's best player. Now one thing I did say I wanted to do is keep tabs on the under-19s this season and that's what I'm doing, I'm just keeping a close eye on them. 
I want to know how well they're doing. Um, obviously, they're in this league, which are in now, and we're fourth, which is decent. There's still a long way to go, so it's not too bad. Um, they've obviously, got, they've got the Youth Cup as well. I don't think that's started yet. But what has started is the uh, Youth, well, UEFA Youth League, which is class. And it looks like it just mirrors ours, Champions League group, and the same teams in the group. And they're doing really well. And um, they've lost one, but the top of the group, so I'm pretty proud of them so far. And one of the players that's making them so good, my hot prospect, who's like me today, because I am. Do you know how late it is? It's nearly 10 o'clock at night, right? Uh, it's about 30 degrees. I'm sweating my tits off. Anyway, is Ulrich Batz. We all know about him. He's a super um, regen from uh, last year, the top of his class last year. I'd be playing this kid if I could, but he's too young. He's only 15. He's going to be good, isn't he? Look at him. He's going to be shit up. Now again, I want to have a look at people and I've been, I've not done it yet actually to be fair, so I thought I'd have a quick nose at what happened to some of the real players, some of the really big name players are on this year's game when you start playing FM17, so we're on the Ballon d'Or winners list here, and obviously it's been won by Regens for the last few years, but some of the big guys, they're actually still in the game. First guy is Gabriel Barbosa, um, he's now 41 years old, and he's a manager, um, he hasn't got a job, but look at him. He's decent. I think he's got potential. His tactical knowledge is poop. But he might be make, he might make a good manager, so I'll keep my eye out on that. Next guy, Mbappe. A massive, massive player. Player that's getting talked about all the time. Potential move from Monaco to Real Madrid. Um, and he's uh, under 23. He's coach at Liverpool. He's only 38. And he, I think he's got potential again to be a really good coach. Next is possibly one of the best players I've ever seen on the game. His stats are crazy on FM17 um, and it's Neymar and he's a manager and he's got a job to be fair he's 45 now look how many caps he's got for Brazil blimey and again he looks like a decent manager who's just got no tactical knowledge um, but uh, yeah top player on it but he is in real life but you know he's 45 now this is the golden boy list and again won by regens um, but down there there are a couple of players that I really like on this year's game Two players I've used in private saves who are still in the game as well, so let's have a look at them. First up is Deli Ali. He's 41. I can't imagine him being 41. Um, he's a director of football. He hasn't got a job. And I can tell why. His pants. He should have become a pundit. Next up is Paolo Dybala. Possibly the greatest striker ever on this year's game. You get him on your team and he'll score you so many goals. Um, he's a manager and again, he's got a job. I think they're a team back in Argentina. Look at his stats, all the rubbish. They should have, right? This is something they should put in FM18. A punditry. A punditry attribute, shouldn't they? How good they would be at punditry. I'd like that. And the last player I want to show you, never won a Ballon d'Or or a Golden Boy, but he was a wonder kid I signed on my last series, booed in the hood for Huddersfield, uh, and he was class. One of the best strikers I've ever had. Stat-wise, no. But he just scored so many goals. He won us so many games. He was a beast for me. Um, and I don't know if anyone noticed this, but I signed him at the start, mainly because of I fell in love with him in my last series for uh, Booed in the Hood. So, yeah, Kuki's already at my team. He's a scout at Bayern Munich. Right, now it's time to look at some players that are playing right now today. And like I said, every episode, we're going to have a look at three in a bit more detail, um, just so you can see what I've got to work with seeing as I can't really change that. So the first player we're going to look at is Johan Dampfling. Um, he's a decent player. He's a player, right? He just does a job for me. I mean, he, he just ticks along, does what I ask him to. Um, and he's not bad. He's a decent centre-half if I need him to be. Um, but he's been playing as, in his proper role as a defensive midfielder. I've got him training as an anchor man. And yeah, he's all right. He's all right. I'd like better. Of course I would. But he's the best I've got. Next is a player that surprised me this season. Um, I had him set to be a B-team player and he's pushed his way into the team. And he's on a really, got a really good average rating so far this season. He's been he's been great. And that is, I think you say it, Fatty. I hope he's not fat. Fatty Karasu. Um, right winger, full back, wing back. Uh, I think he's got potential. He really has got a lot of potential. He's got a lot of yellow. He's got a lot of decent stats that I like. Um, and he's improving in good areas, so I think he's got a big future. Last player I want to show you is a uh, Ciro Titanelli, um, and uh, he's decent. He's all right. He's, he played the majority of last year. 
He's not played as much this year because another guy's pushing him out. Um, but he's all right. He's a decent centre half. Don't get me wrong. He can cover all over as well in midfield, right back as well. Physicals are okay. Um, team works good, which I like. I just wish he had a wish he was just a touch better. Um, but yeah, I've got I've got someone else who I'll show you at a later stage who I think is probably going to play more than him this season. Right, it's live comp time. We're playing the big one. Borussia Dortmund. My good friend Wolfie, he supports Borussia Dortmund. Again, check his channel out. I'll put a description down below. Massive team. The year before we started this series, they'd won the double. Um, their old manager had come back. He got sacked last year. We beat him three times. They finished three places below us in the league. It blew my mind. They've got some cracking players. Um, but they've changed the manager and they've brought in Marcus Win. Whatever he's called, right? They've brought Marcus in. He's a decent manager as well. It looks good. Um, he's steadied the ship, obviously. Made a few signings. And Dortmund are sitting second in the Bundesliga. So this is a very different team, I think, than last year. And if we look at the best player, he's called Andreas Araya. Araya. He's 32, so he's probably at the peak edge before he starts to slip down. Attribute-wise, but he's still good. Striker. Uh, He's all around, a very good player, complete forward. Um, so when we're going to have to watch, scored a lot of goals for his country, Chile. So, yeah, danger man. Looking at the recent form as well, there's a lot of green there. They got beat of Gladbach, but they're top of the league. We beat them 4-0, but, you know, they've been beaten recently away from, from by Colm as well. So, apart from that, I mean, they're doing really well. They're doing well in the Europa League. I mean, they've looked at some of the goals they've scored. There's a lot of high-scoring games, 6-5, 5-3, 4-3. Four, three, you know what I mean? It's gonna be damn crazy today. Right, you're probably wondering why I'm on this screen. Where's the team lineups, man? I know, I know I'm gonna go straight to team lineups, but I've been thinking. Now, Boots Arrow ended last year amazing. We went on that massive run, got top four, you know the story, all that green, right? This year, it's been a bit meh. We're keeping the ball, we play beautiful football, but we're not winning games. We're nearly men. We shouldn't be getting beat in certain games. We're drawing games, we shouldn't be drawing. And I like to think the AI in this computer is quite clever. I, I pretend it is. And that the opposition manager knows I've been playing this tactic over and over again. He's gonna set up for that tactic. And this is Dortmund, a very different Dortmund. So do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna drop a bomb on those mother fudges and I'm gonna bring back the booed in the hood tactic. 4-4-2, asymmetric, up in this mother I'm not asked. I'm going for it. The lads don't know it completely, but they seem all right with it. Ah, it's my favourite tactic. It carried me through SOS Stockport County. It carried me through, I've got to get booed in the hood. And now I've got it here at Bay and Booed or Bust. Will it work? I have not got a clue. Not got a clue, but maybe I'll catch them off the guard. So where are the team lineups? As you can see, there it is, my beautiful formation, the one I love the most. Direct, fast, wingers. Two up top, attack, attack, attack. Hopefully it won't work today and not backfire on me because um, I'll be gutted if it does because I love it. Anyway, let's get through the team. We've got Foley's in goal. We've got Mask at left back. Uh, Karis Susan will play at right back. Paris Sort and Titanelli in defence. Dampfling as a ball winner. Uh, Tock in the middle. Felgenhauer on the right. Bukowski on the left. And Ben and Abdallahi up top. Come on, boys. Press report time. This is where we'll find out if we, um, we're doomed or not. And it says Dortmund do a good side, and I think they have enough quality to see off the challenge of Bayern today. Piss off, Darren Naylor, suck my eggs, um, and their favourites as well. Yeah, they're second, we're ninth, but we're at home. We're Bayern Munich, motherfucker. Right, we're in the changing rooms. Time to get down to business, boys. I wish this is when I could talk to you. Well, this is when Twitch is good in a way, isn't it? Because I can say to you, what do you think? You'll be saying, you're going to get bum raped. And I'll be like, no, I'm not. They've never faced this tactic. But anyway, I don't, I'm not a fan of Twitch. I ain't got the time. That's the trouble. Anyway, um, I'm going to be assertive. And I'm going to say, let's give the fans something to cheer. Let's show everyone who the daddies are. <laughs> Do you know what, really? I'm shitting myself. In today's Bundesliga game, it's FC Bayern Munich versus Borussia Dortmund. 
We kicked off here today. The Allianz Arena. Whole new way of playing. If you're a fan of Booty in the Hood, you'll know it. Let's see if it works today. I hope so. Right, for this. Oof it, mate. Oof it. Seven minutes in. Nothing has happened. Absolutely nothing. Here's Abdullahi. Early doors. Lays it off to Bukowski. Can he cut it across? Keep it saves. So, yeah. I'm, I'm excited. I hope it works. I've got a lot of love for this tactic. It'd be nice if it does. Maybe it can take us on a good run. They're a good player. Their top players picked it up. Just cripple him. Cripple him. He's not crippled him. Lad's got an edge of the box. What's he going to do? He has a shot. He deflects it. Goes back to a Dortmund player. Good save for this. All right, mask, long ball in it. Founds Abdullahi. Abdullahi is a good player. Not really figured much. Maybe if I switch his tactic, he will do. Here's Ben as a shot. <gasps> wow. They're going for Dortmund. But wow, Bukowski intercepted that, man. I like it. Tox lost the ball, but Ben's recovered it. Rene Ben lays it off to Abdullahi. Abdullahi's charging forward. He's got men all around him. What's he going to do? He has a shot. Keeper saves. Well done, Tox. Edits it back in. Uh, they cut it away. Come on, lads. It's Felgenhauer now on the right. Usually plays centrally. Hopefully can do well as a winger today. Um, it's not his number one position, but if he does well, we'll have to retrain him. Decent cross. They've got rid of it. I mean, we started all right, eh? This is my this is this tactic. Creates chances. Less possession, but creates chances. Here's Rennie Ben. Throw in now. Karasu. He's found Felgenhauer. Back to Karasu. Karasu crosses it. It's lovely and high. Can we get an add on to it? Yes, we can. Bukowski. Get in. Here we go. Karasu, look at the curve on that cross. Bukowski rolls up like Michael Jordan, man. That was class. Free kick to... Ooh. Dortmund. Come on, boys. Damp flings on a yellow. Here's Mass now. He's been playing in central midfield, but he's more. He's probably as better as a left back. Um, I've messed around a lot with this series, but I've got him and I can't buy to fit. Here's... Oh, decent chance. Here's Dortmund again. Come on, boys. Iraya, is it Iraya? Would you say his name is? Class player, don't even know he's 32. Can they get themselves back into it? Probably can. Pathetic shot, that man. Come for this. Just oof it out, man. Oof it. Booms it forward. I love it. Nice and high. Edited on by Abdullahi, I think. Bukowski. He's laid it off to Rene Ben. Rene Ben's charging forward. He's got men all around him, but that doesn't matter. Fucking Rene Ben. Get in. Watch this. First time pass from Bukowski. Look at that. Five of them charging round him, Rene Ben, I'm not bothered, man. Places it in the far corner, 2 0. Booed in the hood, man. Booed in the hood. It's working. You'll see, I've got less ball, we've got less possession. I always said that in Booed in the hood, though. We've always got less ball, but we dominate and we win them games. Can, I, can it really work here? I didn't want to use it at the start of the series because it's had two strikers and I didn't feel like we had that many, but the more I've got to know these lads, I've got some really good young strikers. Maybe I need a. Um, Play two up top. You've got to play how you feel, like you feel inside, man, in here. And I'm a two striker man. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, I'm getting giddy, man. Wow. You know what I'm like? I get excited. This is Dortmund, remember? Right. I'm going to be a serious. <laughs> I'm going to be serious. And I'm going to say, don't get complacent. Things can turn around very quickly in football. Keep focused and check that out. About time we start getting some green. Let's get back out. Dortmund have kicked off the second half. Can they get themselves back into it? Can we score a couple more? Can we keep B in their bulky team? We'll find out in today's episode. So yeah, my friend, Fry Badger, he's got a new series coming out soon. With Newcastle starting in this season in the Premiership. He's put a lot of work into it. You should definitely check it out. I'll put a link to his channel down below. Top, top lad. And the series will be top class. Right, the time is ticking in this second half. Nearly just at 55 minutes. We've had eight chances. They've had seven. They've had 4% more of the ball, would you say? Yeah. Um, but they're coming at us now. Can they get themselves back into it? They're hovering around the edge of the box, pinging it round. Good shot. Better save. Here's Ayara Ayara. Pass it to Anders. Lovely pass there to whoever he is. He has a shot and oh, pick that one out. Wow. Pick that out. Sometimes when the goal's like this, you can't complain. What, what can you do about that? Boo yakka. One arrowed. Do one. See you later. Free kick to Dortmund. Oh, didn't like that angle one bit. Right, I'm going to make some changes. We've got half an hour to go. Not a lot's happening for us. Um, 2 1 now. I'm getting a bit nervous. It's a long time, isn't it, really? So I'm going to bring Paula on for Felgenhauer. He's not really doing much on that right wing. Paula's a decent winger. Um, and we're going to bring Fring on for Abdullahi. Right, I've just assert if they told him to concentrate. Um, it's very attacking this formation. Oh, come on. Come on. But we'll have to see what happens. 
Yeah, I don't know whether to switch to the wall or not. I devised the wall, super defensive tactic. Because of this tactic, it's so attacking that sometimes we have to protect the lead, I'd switch to the wall, but I don't know. Sometimes attack is the best form of defence, isn't it? Right, here we go, here's Paula. He's got fresh legs and he just gives the ball away. He's going to win it back. He doesn't. If they score from this, Paula, I potentially might never play you again. That was shocking. It's like you were stoned, something. Just stood there. Just have the ball, mate. Oh, come on. Here's Abadou, or whatever his name is. Well done! That's my kind of defending. Yeah, De decentness. It's pretty even, isn't it? Chances and that. And possession, it's decent. Decent cross. How did he not head that down? I'm proud of it, man. I mean, I'm proud because it's my favourite tactic. But I'm proud that we've, you know, we've matched them pretty well. I know we're at home as well, but... I mean, they're a better side. But we, it, we've done our job today. Here's Rene Ben. Rene. Right, this is not what I like to see. Oh my God, did you see that save? Right, they're booming it. It's got to be a whistle blown here, ref. It's got to be a whistle blown. Come on. Blow it. Get in. Absolutely buzzing with that. Absolutely buzzing. Do I switch the boot in the hood? Or do I go back? What do you reckon? Possession based, one up top? Or direct attacking football with two strikers? I think I know what I'm going to do. After an absolutely amazing performance from my boys, I think there's only one thing I can do, and that's be passionate and say, well done lads, that was a good win for us. Decent green. Had some great performances, Bukowski and Ben. The BB. BB brothers. Amazing. Onto the Bundesliga table, and we're ninth. <laughs> it's not done as a world of good. Dortmund have dropped one. Boo hoo. Um, Schalke at the top of the league. Leipzig is starting to get some wins together as well, but hopefully we can build on that and have some confidence. We're not in the DFB pokal anymore. We're obviously still in Europe, but um, you know, maybe we can. Well, maybe we need to build on that. Go on a good run and try and get back in them European spots. That's my target. At least six. Right, episode 13, I don't believe in unlucky numbers. Um, my dad always said it's unlucky for your opponent. He always used to wear number 13, so I used to wear number 13. He used to play basketball for school. Um, so I hopefully, I believe, it's going to be a lucky episode. But before I tell you who we're going to play, I'll tell you who we're going to play off camera. And the first game is going to be a Champions League game at home to top seeds at Atlanta. If we beat them, I think we're through. Next game will be Coleman, it's away in the Bundesliga. Decent side, but hopefully we can pick up some points. I'll take one. Next, after that, it will be Stuttgart again away. So that's two games away in the Bundesliga. We potentially come out of that with nothing, which will uh, be pretty pants. After that, I'll beat Atletico Madrid in the Champions League at our place. Um, we surprisingly did well against them at their place, so... I don't know if we can beat Atlanta. I might end up beating him in that just to rest players. Next up is Leverkusen at home in the Bundesliga. A massive game there. And um, hopefully the home advantage will get us three points. Next after that, we've got a trip to the capital, Berlin, to play Hertha in the uh, amazing Olympic Stadium where we had, well, we didn't have a lot of luck. We won the final there, but we got beat off Hertha there last year. Then the next game, the last game off camera, will be the last game in Group D, and that'll be against Shakhtar Donetsk away. Um, away in the Ukraine, be a crazy ass trip. And then you guessed it, the live com for the next episode, episode 13, we'll play Wolfsburg, the mighty Wolfsburg. I love this team, I love the green coloured kit. Um, the kind of team I'd love to do a series with one day. Right then, there you go, that's the end of episode 12. I've enjoyed it. Beating Dortmund, sorry Wolfie mate, sorry mate. But um, bogey team man, that's 4 nil. Booed 4, Dortmund nil. Thanks for watching, um, it really does mean a lot. Thanks for commenting, the guys who always comment. That means even more, I love talking to you. Like I said, follow me on Twitter. Get on Twitter and follow me. Um, I'm always up for a chat, dead easy going. Um, don't forget to smash the like button if you uh, enjoyed it. Interaction always helps, even those guys who keep dislike bombing me at my videos. Cheers, I mean it helps me, so I can't complain. Um, so yeah, thanks. Uh, if you're new to my channel, feel free to subscribe. Come and join the family, because this lot are the best load of subscribers in the whole community. They probably subscribe to other people, but when they're here, they mind. So yeah, thanks guys. Um, I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you come back for the next one. Massive game against Wolfsburg. So take care, be safe. I'll feed you soon.